the photos taken at this shoot will be seen by millions of people. They'll be plastered on billboards all over the country, but their faces you don't often see. All the children taking part in this shoot have some kind of disfigurement, and they've had enough of people treat them differently because of the way they look. I just want people to know that I'm an ordinary boy, and because I am an ordinary boy, just with a different look. These boys are setting off on the Tough Kids Challenge, fought out on one of the toughest and most extreme obstacle courses in the country. This legendary race has never been attempted by children, until now. 120 schoolboys will be put to the test like never before. <laughs> Running the course are three 12-year-old boys, Jordan, Sam and Daniel. Each has their own personal battle to fight. It was like a sledgehammer hitting my leg, breaking every bone in my body. It's a time of change, a rite of passage. They will come to understand what it really means to be tough. You don't have to be tough like with muscles, you can be tough in your mind. These children are outsiders. They live very different lives to other children in Britain. They drive cars. They don't finish school. Many of them work. They live here in Dale Farm in Essex. It's the largest Irish traveller site in Europe. You guys are might be evicted. John, see, I don't think the council could kick us out of our homes after we pay lots of money for them. Yeah, but they kicked you out of your last place. Yeah. That was our last place, it's not this place. They won't get we it. We won't let them get it. This is a story about separation. About a six-year-old boy called Liam and his dad Paul, who's been in and out of prison for as long as Liam can remember. My dad bought me this calendar. I mark every day because I can tell when he's coming out. It's harder on him than what is on me. It's harder for Liam than myself. I have to do whatever I got to do. He's got to do everything he normally would, but we work as dad as well. Each month, children come into the prison so that their dads can help them with their homework. 